let's let's look at we've, we've looked at velocity uh, displacement we've looked at velocity let's quickly look at acceleration 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 a is equal to dv on dt and here we are looking at vertical oscillation so the acceleration we saw is how how omega the velocity function changes a omega cos Omega T changes with time. And so we got the acceleration equation as minus omega squared A sine omega T. This is the acceleration of the oscillating body oscillating body in terms of of time and from here we were able to deduce that that if a is equal to minus Omega squared A sine Omega T is the um, is the acceleration function in terms of time. Then, because this is equal to y, the acceleration in terms of displacement y is equal to minus Omega squared y. Okay, let me please adjust my screen. So this relation gives us acceleration in terms of displacement y. Okay. The acceleration in terms of displacement then we were able to deduce where we have a maximum maximum acceleration we saw that maximum acceleration occurs a max will be equal to minus omega squared okay a meaning when the displacement is equal to the amplitude we have maximum acceleration occurring and where does where do we have the displacement being equal to the amplitude this occurs at the extreme occurs at the extremes at the extremes okay then minimum acceleration a minimum the minimum acceleration of oscillating particle can be equal to zero. Okay. And where does it occur? If we have a situation of the displacement being equal to zero, of course, you have A is equal to minus omega squared Y. And if Y is equal to zero, then we will have the acceleration A being equal to minus omega squared times zero okay and a is equal to zero so in effect what we mean is that the minimum acceleration occurs when y is equal to zero and where do we have y is equal to zero y is equal to zero at the mean point or at the equilibrium position y is equal to zero at the equilibrium position 
okay so that is where we have minimum acceleration and where we have maximum acceleration now let's look at a graph of graph of acceleration against time so the vertical is for acceleration this is the time at t is equal to quarter of the period half of the period three quarters of the period and then the period t what happens this is the acceleration the maximum acceleration which is the amp well or are you? the maximum acceleration okay occurs when y is equal to um, zero and what is a max a max is equal to omega a omega squared a omega squared a okay so this this is the amplitude the coefficient of the sine function is the amplitude and here we are considering the magnitude of it that's why we have omega squared e and another amplitude minus omega squared e respectively so when t is equal to zero when t is equal to zero what is the what is the acceleration acceleration is also equal to zero okay now when t is equal to um three quarters of the period acceleration will be equal to this when t is equal to this half half of the period acceleration is equal to zero when t is equal to three quarters of the period acceleration is equal to positive minus squared e equal to the amplitude When t is equal to the period, acceleration will drop to zero. When you join the point, this is how the acceleration function will look like. Okay. This is the graph of E is equal to minus omega squared E sine omega T. So this is the acceleration graph telling, telling us that at the time T is equal to zero, which is which is the mean point acceleration is minimum there we just saw that acceleration is minimum when y is equal to zero and when what do we have y is equal to zero y is equal to zero at the mean point okay then acceleration is maximum at a time t is equal to t is equal to period on 4. Where do we have t is equal to period on 4? This is 0. 
slash t this is t on 4 this is t on 2 and this is three quarters of t okay so over here at a time t um a quarter of the period acceleration is maximum there meaning acceleration is maximum at the extremes and we just saw it at the extremes where the time is equal to quarter of um okay so acceleration is maximum at the extremes and uh, at the extremes is the time there per um quarter of the period and three quarters of the period okay all right so this is the acceleration graph the the difference between acceleration and displacement okay let me combine all the three graphs and you and you get the difference well so i'm going to combine displacement velocity and acceleration graph for you to get the difference between the two, the three i mean um, functions so here what we are doing is that we, we are combining all of them displacement velocity um, acceleration okay at the same time period on four we have period on two three quarters of the period and then at t period period on four period on two three quarters of the period and then period t t and so on and so forth okay these are they are maximum value the amplitudes now for displacement when t is equal to zero the displacement is equal to zero when t is equal to the period on four the displacement is equal to the amplitude when t is equal to the, the displacement is equal to zero when t is equal to the quarters of the displacement is equal to negative of d when t is equal to this um, the period the displacement is zero so when you join the point this is what you have which we've seen for one cycle earlier for velocity when t is equal to zero the velocity is maximum there okay the velocity is maximum when t is equal to quarter of the period the velocity is zero when t is equal to half of it the velocity is maximum but at the opposite so this is over here when t is equal to three quarters of it the velocity is zero when t is equal to the period the velocity is equal to the amplitude when we join the points this is this is what we have for velocity for acceleration when t is equal to zero the velocity is zero when t is equal to a quarter of the period quarter of the period the acceleration is maximum there but in the opposite direction or it's a negative when t is equal to um half of the period the acceleration is zero when t is equal to three quarters of the period the acceleration is maximum but it's a positive because cos of two this is um sine okay sine of two a 
So we have this positive value. And when um, t is equal to um, the period, the acceleration is zero there. So when you join the point, this is what you have for acceleration. Okay. Now the only difference between the only difference between the sign, the velocity, and then the acceleration is that you see. The velocity is a positive. It's given by um, a omega cos um, a. Um, a. The velocity is given a omega cos cos omega t, and the acceleration is given by. A omega squared A omega squared minus A sine omega t okay they are all starting from a maximum value um, okay so this is, a, this is a difference okay this is the velocity function in terms of time and this is the acceleration function in terms of time. Okay. One is a negative and one is a positive. Okay. Okay. I think, yes. So these are the comparison of the three parameters of a body in SHM. Okay. This is eight displacement function. This is eight velocity function. Okay. This is its um, acceleration function. Displacement is maximum at the extremes. At the extreme, the time there we have quarter of the period and three quarters of the period. Please, you can also draw this graph using angles. Okay. Okay, this is 90, 180, 270, and 360. So you can also use angles to draw the same graphs when we come to so we have the displacement uh, maximum at the extremes minimum at the mean position when we come here when we come to the velocity function we have the displacement uh, velocity maximum at the at the mean position at the mean position the time there we have zero we have zero Okay. Um, well, so when t is equal to zero, this is it. Okay. And when t is equal to half of the period, we have maximum velocity. Half of the period also is at the mean point. Please let me show this well to you. This is it. So this is zero and t. This is a uh, quarter of the period. This is half of the period. This is um, three quarters of the period. So at zero, at zero, t is velocity is maximum over here. When t is zero, this is it. At the period, um, capital T, when the period, uh, the time is equal to the period, velocity is maximum there. And over here, the body has gone. Okay, it's like one and it's starting, so it's at the mean point. Okay, okay, and then at at the time t is equal to quarter of the period, the velocity is also maximum. So the velocity is maximum at the mean point and zero at the extremes. T on four and three quarters of four. Then the acceleration function. Here, what we see is that the acceleration is zero at the mean point. Okay, at the mean point, t is equal to zero, t is equal to half of the period, and t is equal to the period. And then acceleration is maximum at the extremes. At the extremes, what are the times we have? 
3 on 4 over here then we have 3 quarters 3 quarters of the period over here all right so this is the graph of the displacement let me clean this illustration and then this is displacement this is displacement this is velocity and this is acceleration okay very important graphical representation now the next thing I want us to look at is let's use this idea of displacement velocity and acceleration to solve a question all right then we wash our hands of this whole concept and then move on all right before we continue let me draw your attention to this the difference between displacement and then the acceleration you see displacement function y is equal to a sine omega t and then acceleration function a is equal to a minus omega squared a sine omega t okay the amplitudes are this and this respectively they are the same sine function but one is a positive and one is a negative so you see whilst look at the nature of the displacement function and then the acceleration function okay it starts from zero they all start from zero yes okay but then because one is negative while this side this positive or upward crest or pause is going this in this manner the other one because it's negative will be dropping in the opposite direction okay so when it's going here acceleration will go the opposite when it is in this direction acceleration would okay okay so the different difference between displacement function and then acceleration function is that they are they all start they are all sine function start from zero but the displacement is a positive whereas the acceleration function is a negative okay so this is the key yes information i i earlier even wanted you to see and then we continue all right thank you so much so we're going to solve the problem and that, that's the next thing to do all right. all right so let's continue the question is that an object attached to a spring oscillates in the vertical plane about a rest position O with an angular velocity 4 radian per second and an amplitude 10 cm between extreme positions A and B. Now calculate A, the velocity when crossing the rest position B. The velocity at the extremes, extreme ends A or B. See the velocity at a point 6 cm from O and D, the maximum acceleration. Alright, so this is the problem. Now let's extract the, the details of the question. We are giving the angular velocity omega to be 4 radian per second. We are also giving the amplitude to be 10 centimeter, which we need to convert because the angular velocity is in SI unit okay radian per second so you can't leave our amplitude in centimeter we have to convert equally so that we have every quantity or unit converted into SI unit so this will be 
zero point one meter. Okay, twenty. So zero point one meter amplitude. All right. So now A, you have to calculate the velocity when crossing the mean, the rest position. Now our, our theory. The theory, the theory has it that the velocity at the maximum velocity occurs or is equal to omega square root of a squared minus zero. Okay, so we we'll have the maximum velocity when y is equal to zero at the at the mean position. So the velocity when crossing the mean position has to be the maximum velocity because at the mean position the displacement is equal to zero. And so if the displacement is zero, then the velocity there will be equal to omega times a, which is four times um, zero point one, zero point one. Okay. And this will be equal to 0.4 meter per second as a. And this will be the maximum velocity. This is a this is the maximum velocity. Because at the display uh, when at the red mean position or at the rest position, we have the maximum velocity as a as a theory. I mean depicted earlier. Alright, B. The velocity at the extreme ends A or B. At the extreme ends, the theory has it that B at the, at the extreme ends, the uh, minimum velocity occurs. V minimum occurs. And what is the value of the minimum velocity at the extreme end? Zero. Why? Because at the extreme and the displacement is equal to the amplitude so if we are saying that the displacement is equal to the amplitude there then if we want to if we want the proof of it then this is how it's going to be 4 radian per second the amplitude is 0 0.1 squared minus at the extreme end we are saying that the displacement is equal to the amplitude so zero another 0 0.1 squared Okay, so this is zero. So the velocity at the extreme ends A or B will be equal to zero. Then C, the velocity at a point at point six centimeter from O. So here, six centimeter from O is the displacement. So we are considering the um, the velocity at a displacement of six centimeter, and this is equal to 0 0.06 meter so the velocity there will be equal to omega a squared minus y squared omega is 4 the amplitude is 0 0.1 squared minus 0 0.06 squared okay all right 0 0.1 squared is 0 0.01 0 0.01 minus 0 0.06 squared is 0 0.0036 0 0.0036 0 .0036. okay so when you um, multiply everything the displacement is equal to 0 0.32 of course, what is in the bracket is 0 0.0064. When you subtract, you have, when you subtract, you have 0 0.0064. And so the velocity at that displacement is 0 0.32 meter per second. Meter per second. So at a displacement of six centimeter, this is the velocity at the okay. 
and this is less than the velocity the maximum velocity at the at the mean point which is 0 0.40 um meter per second all right then d the maximum acceleration a maximum occurs at the amplitude and we have minus omega squared y or e and here we have when e when the displacement y is equal to e okay so the maximum acceleration will be equal to minus 4 squared times the amplitude the amplitude is 0 0.1 Okay, zero point one zero point one zero. So our value is minus one point six one point six zero meter per second squared or the magnitude of the maximum the magnitude of the maximum acceleration is one point six zero meter per second squared okay so this is an example of how to use the concept of displacement velocity and acceleration to solve to solve a problem in our next meeting i'll bring another different set of questions for us to see how we can apply the concepts the concept the various concepts learned in solving problems is that okay all right thank you so much for making time um to go through this with me and please do not um forget to subscribe share and pass your comments so 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 important i'll need i'll need those um subscription sharing and then your comments so badly so please do not forget to do that for me thank you and see you i mean once once again next time bye bye